There are some things in this world that go way beyond human understanding. Things that cannot be explained. Things that most people don't want to know about. That is where we come. Do you know what the most frightening thing in the world is? It's fear. We all go a little mad sometimes. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. What an excellent day for an exorcism. It's all true. The boogeyman is real. And you found him. And there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk here. I see dead people. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. They're here. Talking. That's right, you reach Ghost Rick and Talking, your paranormal podcast like none other you have out there. Like uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys thank you for downloading this podcast, wherever you're getting your yeah. podcast, like uh, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Podbean. Play, Podbean, iHeartRadio, and everything in between, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are also found on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe on YouTube. And click the notification bell so you can know if I would push out a new video. Yes, yeah, so uh, what you'll see are these actual podcasts via video on YouTube, as yeah. well as other items such as ghost hunts and uh, little things we do here and there. Uh, but tonight, we are continuing our 31 Days of Halloween. Halloween. But this episode's going to be a little bit different than what we have been doing, where we talk about a monster or situation. Yep, because it's uh, a special episode. Yes, huh? this is a special episode, ladies and gentlemen. This is our 50th podcast. Whoa, That's 50th. Awesome. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, this is 31 days of Halloween. They've been here since 728 of last year, and we are only now hitting the 50th podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Well, who's really like count? You know, yeah. like uh, whatever. Because uh, originally, when I started up this podcast, I wanted to do, have it like a weekly show. Okay. Uh, where it'd be once a week, so you know, four times a month. Right. We tried. Uh, we had right out of the, the gate. We did it pretty good for mm-hmm. a couple months, and yeah. then it kind of went away. Life happens. I get it. Yeah. Life happens. Um, I got into a relationship with someone that wasn't into this stuff and kind of dampered on my. My situation. Rained on your parade. Yeah. So, uh, my parade. But, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, somewhere along the line, I ended up finding someone else. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's that? Wow. Who's that? I don't know. Uh, we, I guess we should introduce <laughs> ourselves, right? Uh, I am your host. My name is Nick. I am, uh, your sexy co host, Trenton. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Newsroom Nessie. Newsroom Nessie. And we, you guys are asking, who's Newsroom Nessie? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she's my sexy girlfriend I was just referring to, <laughs> and she is sitting in our spread shop newsroom. You know it. Just and say mine's g- better. If you guys are, uh, uh-huh. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are wondering what the hell is spread shop, spread shop is our merch shop. Uh, if you guys want to support this podcast, or, uh, or, or uh, yeah, we're, merch uh, yep, we are wearing our merch here. Or, I am wearing one. Uh, newsroom someone's Nessie. not wearing his merch. No. Because he forgot my I, fucking merch at his mom's house. No. Listen, okay, uh, if you can't take care of the merch, maybe Yeah, you your mom's going to ruin my shit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, what I was going for is um, we were talking about uh, how I was dating someone that wasn't supportive of the stuff. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of hard to get into that mindset of doing this. Uh, so ended that. Wasn't working. And I ended up finding someone that, that is into this kind of stuff as well and is 100% supportive of what we're doing here. And so I brought you onto the show, and uh, you you were an instant fan hit. You know, the fans love you. <laughs> yeah, you kind of replaced me. Uh, no, but, no. Replace you. But, uh, Come on, I'm stuck in the newsroom, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I know, I'm but like I got demoted corner. to crew. Yeah, so. I'm, I was demoted to crew, but okay. Yeah, so, so, nah, so for we love you. <laughs> Originally, I was just um, supposed to, you know, when you didn't want to, or you were want unavailable. To. I yeah. always I would do step this. in. Yeah, because we were at a point to where we were doing uh, shared custody with his mom, so you know there would be well, right, times that times I wouldn't have him. Yeah. Other times that. He was just being a, a, teen a teenager, yeah. And didn't want to do it. Yeah. Um, but uh, what we're doing on this episode yeah, here, here we are. yeah. Uh, what we're doing on this episode today, we're gonna kind of look back on where we started, where you know what's happened since then, and where mm-hmm. we're at now. Um, I will tell you guys that uh, Ghost Freaking Talking, uh, the the name Ghost Freaking Talking is spelled horribly wrong. It's spelled horribly <laughs> wrong. Who cares? <laughs> because it, 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 if you look at it, it says Ghost Freaking and Talking in because of the apostrophe n apostrophe n. You know, it's I, how you want it to be. You I know, know what I exactly. mean? Like, yeah. it, come on, it's yours. Yeah. It's just how you spelt it. Yeah. Who's complaining about it? Uh, me. And, and Tell <laughs> him to send me an email. <laughs> GhostFT at yahoo.com. Oh, where is that? <laughs> GhostFT at yahoo.com. Yep. That was a good uh, plug. That's a really good <laughs> plug. <laughs> We're getting good at this. But uh, <laughs> people people ask me, I'm like, they're like, well, where did you come up with the name Ghost Freaking Talking? Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, we wanted to do a podcast because we got these awesome new microphones for our Brickhead channel where we talk Lego and stuff like that. Oh, and people okay. are like, man, you guys should really do a podcast. Okay. I'm like, wow, you know, we do really sound good on these mics. Uh, let's do a podcast. Mm-hmm. And at the time, uh, there was a shakeup between YouTube and kids channels. Oh, yeah. And we had content on there because we had a um, Copa. Yeah, it was, it was the Copa Law. Uh, we had stuff that was on, because we're a family-friendly channel. Right, believe that Lego. or not. Yeah, believe yeah. that or no. not. Believe that <laughs> or not. We <laughs> are family-friendly. Family family-friendly Lego channel. The other channel. channel. Yeah, yes. the other channel. This is not family-friendly <laughs> at all. And uh, we would get our hands slapped because we had a series on that channel called Ghost Frickin' Hunting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ghost where we would, hunting. you know, because... We live in a haunted house. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have stuff happen to us all the time. Right. We would go out to different places, tape there too. Mm-hmm. And uh, those kind of videos would not fit that that uh, family family genre yeah. <laughs> for, for YouTube. And we didn't want to get, because they're talking like $50,000 fines and shit. Oh, geez. If you have that kind of content yeah. on oh. kids' channel. if you Because we had to declare that we're a kids' channel. Right. So when we declared that, if we have that kind of stuff on there... And it's not you get fined? kid friendly. You get fined. Oh wow! I didn't realize you get like fined big bucks. Yeah, it, it's. I big. figured they just shut you down or something. Like, no. okay, I can deal with that. But no, man, it, now you want fifty grand? I'm like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, and uh, uh, YouTube said, you know, our hands are tied. This is all federally run. Right. Yeah. So they weren't even going to police it. They were gonna, if you got caught, you got you were caught. Just done. Yeah. So uh, you get fined. So we decided to take that content off of that channel. Yeah. Uh, so we do. We have those videos that I re-uploaded onto this channel. Okay. Uh, we call it the Rewind series. Yep. So if you guys want to see some really cool hunts, you can do that. Yeah, but didn't we lose subscribers anyway on that channel because of all that? Yeah, because uh, uh, during Halloween on the Brickhead Family channel, mm-hmm. we would, you know, Original, we had 31 Days of Halloween mm-hmm. on the Brickhead Family Channel. That gotcha. W- it's very different than what we have today. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> it was it's very it's different. totally different from our 31 Days yeah. right here. But, uh, but still. Uh, we would Each day we would release a fun video, you know, you know, either hunting, talking about ghosts, any kind of freaky stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that channel, we were up to like 1,600 uh, subscribers at the time. Yeah. And we would... During the month of October, we lost almost 300 subscribers. Wow. Because yeah. uh, parents were seeing what we were doing and unsubscribing their kids on it. Wow. But it was funny because November 1st, when we went back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> we gained them all back. We gained them all back. <laughs> they, yeah. So um, so it was like kind of, we, you know, we, we, we worked things back and forth, you know. So we got that stuff off that channel. So that channel is clean and clear. Mm-hmm. So... How I got the name Ghost Freaking Talking is a play off of Ghost Freaking Hunting. Gotcha. Yeah. But I will tell you that I probably went through a hundred different names 
I'll yeah. tell you, I'll tell you where I found. You know, finally it clicked in my head that I would go with Ghost Freaking Taco. Really? Because that's what my first thing was, right? We made the joke about it, right? Because mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, we have Ghost Freaking Hunting. Why don't we just call it Ghost Freaking and Talking? Yeah. No, not talking. And talking. Right now he has, that, he has that stuck in my head. Ghost Freaking Talking. Ghost Freaking and Talking. Because um, we made the joke about it, and I remember coming up with different names. Yes, but we settled on this. Yeah. Uh, well, it was because I th- I came up with this list of names. I was I was a man whore at the time, uh, so <laughs> I was up at a bar in Wisconsin. Uh, there was a, a bartender up there that I was seeing. You know. Just saying, you know, and uh, I was waiting you... for her to get off of work that night. And I was just sitting at the bar and I had like this whole list of names coming down. And I kept going back to Ghost Freaking Talking. I'm like, man, this is this is the name that I want. This is the name that I want. So the the next day I came to Trent. I'm like, dude, what do you think about this name? And he's like, dude, let's let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. So um, let's go from there. Um, I contacted my sister's boyfriend, mm-hmm. uh, Tyler. He is he runs Slow Death. He is the design company that designed our logo. Sweet. And I gave him, I, yeah. I go, I go, Tyler, this is what I want. We're going to be doing a paranormal podcast. Mm-hmm. I want like skeletons or ghosts or something like that mm-hmm. or, or reapers uh, huddled around like an old timey microphone. Mm-hmm. And he, go, he goes, I got you, fam. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and in like a week's time, he came back and he, go, he goes, what do you think of this logo? And what you the logo you see right now is his logo right out of the gate. Yeah, sweet. There, there was no tweaking. There was, was no tweaking at all. He nailed it right on. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you guys ever want an awesome logo design, we do have another friend out there, uh, Mr. Hinkle Draws. He does do. designs as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you want to go with more of the the freakier, you know, because his his uh, wheelhouse is freaky stuff. Yes. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys seen, I, I wore this bandana when I was at Wolf Hollow because mm-hmm. uh, you had to wear a mask. So yes. I wore this bandana that was designed by him. It's kind of a skull bandana. Skull one, yep. Um, we also, uh, he also does uh, freaky designs for a local company here called uh, Rockford Art Deli. Yep. Cool. Because uh, he's one of the master printers there. So he does up, uh, he's got a really cool design right now for Halloween that he did up of Rad. Uh, cause, uh, Rockford Art Deli has this like dog that's in their shop. Mm-hmm. It's like their shop dog. Okay. Shop dog. Well, he took that shop dog and made it into like a zombie looking thing with an arm hanging out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. Sweet. It's really freaking cool. Uh, for the, uh, cause they, they have a, a free print day. Okay. Uh, so if you go to Rockford Art Deli, it's different right now because of COVID. Yeah. But before you could just take, let's say you've got a t-shirt in, in your closet, mm-hmm. you could take it down there and they'd print it and there's no charge for it. That's pretty cool. Uh, that, that was a long day. Because yeah. uh, they, they had a design uh, for um, Star Wars. It was Baby Yoda. And we waited almost three hours in line to get it printed. Oh, my goodness. And the thing is, people were we selling love Star Wars. Yeah, and people were people selling them for like $90. Exactly. We should have, we only did three shirts one for me, one for you, and one for Logan. We should have, we should have done more, <laughs> wow. in my opinion. Yeah, but um, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, but. Uh, so right now uh, you have to, I think it's like five dollars or ten dollars a shirt. Um, you order it and you go pick it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, the print's free. You're just paying for the t-shirt. Gotcha. Uh, you can't just take your own t-shirts in because of the whole COVID thing. Yeah. So, but uh, his design, I'm I'm gonna order one. Cool. Uh, and you can get it in two different colors. It's like a bright orange color mm-hmm. or a, a bright green color. And, Sweet. You know, with it being Halloween, I'm probably going to go with the, the orange the one. orange, yeah. But it's really cool. Um, if you guys want some creepy designs, uh, check out Slow Death. I tag him a lot on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you guys can check him out there. But he's also on Facebook as well. Uh, so I will leave those. I believe I actually have his link in our description on our YouTube channel too. So Probably. So he's always linked there as well. Uh, so yeah, he took our that my design idea. What you wanted, and and boom, did right it out of the gate. That's killed awesome. Killed it. Killed it. I mean, people give me compliments all the yeah, time. Yeah, I get it. complimented all the time actually on it too. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, they're like, "Whoa, where's what's that?" Yeah. I'm like, "Well, first of all, ghost freaking and talking it. <laughs> ghost freaking, freaking and, and talking it. That's my podcast. This isn't just like a freaky, you know, emo T-shirt. This is uh, promoting this awesome." 
fucking podcast. <laughs> but yeah, yeah uh, nobody compliments me when I do it. It's so it hurts. Oh, you feel <laughs> hurts. left out. I feel very left out. When I do it. But but if you guys are watching us on YouTube, look at that. I got a coffee cup with it on it. We have um, a whole merch shop that you can get our design printed on. Yeah, just and saying it looks those like sweatshirts, cool man. Yeah, the sweatshirts they are, are to die for. Freaking amazing. Uh, but yeah, so you know, here we are. We have a name. We have a logo. Mm-hmm. And I got the the logo while we were at a convention for Lego. Okay. And I'm showing it to everyone. Oh, they're like, oh man, that's really cool. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. And then um, we were like, well, we're probably gonna launch it probably at the end of July. You know, okay. Get everything set up. You know how we want it to be and stuff like that. Right. And uh, someone came up to us and was like, well, we have this thing called the 72 hour stream that's going to be happening. How would you like to have a session uh, for your new podcast on this oh, wow. Lego 72 hour stream? <laughs> okay. I'm like, you guys so want it started. A, I'm like, I don't know if you guys understand the route that we're going with this podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not like Lego family friendly. <laughs> it's uh, like different. So, so our very first show. Uh, not podcast wise, but it was on YouTube. Okay. We went live at I believe two o'clock in the morning. Okay. So about three because witching hour, right? Uh, we went from two two, two to, to four, four. because okay. witching hour. Couple yeah, because yeah, yeah. we wanted that three o'clock hour. Because uh, mm-hmm. basically that first hour we did talk about Lego. Okay. And then we transitioned into more of the creepier stuff. Kind of like. And the- that's when the gloves came off. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to be your normal brickhead right, family your stuff. Right. Um, because what I the direction why I wanted this podcast to go is kind of off the cuff, you know, just free flow, say it as you want. Mm -hmm. Um, that whether you know, we're talking about you know, anal fucking or whatever, you know, we're (laughs) gonna masturbating apes, apes. yes, uh, (laughs) you know, we're gonna go that route. Uh, Mm -hmm. this is not your, your, your family friendly content that you would get on our Brickhead family channel. Because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what you hear on this podcast, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You get a, a cleaned up version of me on the Brickhead family. It's like, hi, guys. Daddy yeah. Brickhead here. This is this is me trying to hold back because <laughs> I'm afraid I'll get slapped or something. <laughs> if I say something, no, not by you, oh. by anyone else that might or might not watch. Oh, whatever, dude. It's, you know, it, this it's what makes this podcast fun and what I've heard from other people uh, because, you know, yeah, I still, well, before COVID, I traveled, you know, to conventions and stuff like that for Lego. And You're pe- man-whoring. Yeah, and man-whoring. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and people were like, Man, I really like your podcast. Nice cover. Uh, what? It's the Lego convention. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, See, people, people are like, that? man, you know, it's really weird how it's different from you going from Daddy Brickhead to, you know, Nick, you know, me oh, yeah. being me and this podcast. Yeah. And how uh, the one guy comes up to me and he's like, uh, Chad's Brick Hobby. He's like, I love your podcast. He goes, because you talk, you know, how it's supposed to be talked, you know? Well, yeah, you're just being you and yeah, yeah. people can appreciate that. Yeah, he, he, go, he goes, uh, you guys were doing a live event at Wolf Hollow. It was our mm-hmm. first live event. And he goes, you guys had me dying laughing. He goes, I could see that you're trying to clean yourself up a little bit mm-hmm. because, you know, we're in a, Professional oh, I remember yeah. doing it. Yeah, it was super funny. And this lady comes over, and I'm like, oh, what are you guys doing? She's like, well, my girlfriend's here buying a beaver. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of like a softball game. You know, you just kind of <laughs> lob that some bitch up there, right? <laughs> and, and it's like, fuck, I'm going to crank this motherfucker <laughs> out of here. Right? <laughs> and, and I'm like, really? You came in here, your girlfriend came in here for, for some beaver, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? Uh, she's like, yeah. She, she goes, she goes. It's a beautiful stuffed beaver. I'm like, so your girlfriend's beaver is stuffed, huh? <laughs> and so, so Chad, you know, at this convention, he he was he goes, dude. From right then, he goes, I'm in love with you guys. You know, your podcast. He goes That's because awesome. I could tell that you know you were trying your damnedest to to just be so PC in this place, right? But it's like 
You seen it, but yeah. and you still went for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, um, the, so I bring up Wolf Hollow. Mm-hmm. Um, we met them along the way during this podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, they they opened up a store uh, here in town, and it was kind of like the creepiness that was what we're trying to bring here. Yeah, what you're all, all about. And uh, so I went to their shop, and I instantly fell in love with it. And, uh, you know, I got to talking to the owners. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I run a podcast and, you know, I would love to like interview you guys or Mm -hmm. something like that. And they're like, well, how would you like to just come and do your podcast here? Yeah. I'm like, cool. I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, every Saturday we have somebody special come into the shop, you know, whether it be a a tarot reader, um, you know, um, was it a a medium? Mm -hmm. They have tattoo artists come in. Uh, but they're like, how would you like to set up shop, come in here and interview people? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm listening. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, listening. this is fucking awesome. Yeah. But I look at the calendar. I'm like, it's fucking December. I'm like, what are we going to fucking talk about? <laughs> yeah. You know, so we, we spun it and uh, we, you know, did it, you know, yeah. scary stories. You know, how, uh, how does the song go? Um, telling spooky stories. By it's the- on. Scary ghost stories and tales of the, the glories, glories of Christmas, Christmas is long, is long, long ago. ago. Mm-hmm. So basically, you know, we had people come in and tell their personal ghost stories. Mm-hmm. And um, we, during the, the downtime when people weren't coming in, uh, I was telling history of like Krampus and the how uh, Christmas trees became and stuff like that. And, you know, if you really dive into like the past history of, of Christmas stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's bleak, man. It's yeah. dark. It's some dark shit. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So it, it just tied in beautifully. Uh, we had a lot of Sweet. compliments about the the show, and uh, they they had us back. They had us back a couple of times now. So more uh, than a couple. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, and you came into the show. It was probably around March. Yeah, we looked on the thing there. You said it was like end of March. Yep, uh, mm-hmm. end of March. Uh, so. Because I was uh, having troubles getting him lined up to, to actually do the podcast. Mm-hmm. So we ended up, uh, I'm like, fuck it. I'll bring you on. I'm like, would you be interested? And you're like, sure, whatever. So I, I knew you were very timid when we first started. Yes. And you can go back and listen to the episode. And well, Every, Everyone was for their first episode. Go back and watch one of our first episodes we well, did. Yeah, you don't know what to expect. I yeah. mean, I didn't know what the hell to talk about. Like, I don't I think mean, I'm that interesting, but... I mean, <laughs> yes, she was more timid, I guess, because she hasn't done the YouTube thing like we have done uh, for yeah. the past, oh, like, too, yeah. three years Definitely. beforehand. But, you know, it's kind of hard to make that transition from family-friendly channel for three years to... Letting loose. Letting <laughs> this happen. Because I was like, what can I say? What can yeah. I not say? And then you kind of set the tone of it. I'm like, oh, it's one of those podcasts. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. We're one of those type yep. of people. It's dropping F-bombs here, F-bombs there. You know, and if, if that you're not comfortable with it, you're not comfortable with it. But you came in, and it was really cool. Because if you go back and watch your very first episode, you're very quiet and timid. Mm-hmm. And then, then as the... As the show went on, you got more comfortable with it. Yeah, <laughs> and we were hitting zingers out of the park. Um, one of our Ooh, one of our zingers. listeners uh, loved it because you didn't hold back either. You're like, well, uh, it was about we were talking aliens. Oh, the, <laughs> anal, the <laughs> anal probing, yeah, anal probing aliens. Mm-hmm. And and you made the the anal probe comment. Yeah, and and he was just like, oh my god, she fits right in perfect <laughs> with you guys. And uh, so from there, you know, basically. Uh, for at least a couple months, it was you would do one episode, he would do one episode, and it was kind of vice versa. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we came up to the second year of the 72-hour stream for yep. the Lego thing, and they're like, well, we'll want you guys back. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm like, well, let's do a big. Let's bring all three of us together, and we'll, we'll set this thing up and have uh, all three of us do this podcast together. Yeah. That was the first time we, we all sat down and did it, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that was our very first time. We we brought in a second camera, a uh, third the microphone. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that that's was the start of the newsroom. The start yeah. of the newsroom, yeah. Um, and, and right now, you know, now we are on our 50th episode right now. 
Yeah, and, it's crazy. And people say that we have gelled so well, you know, all three of us together. Uh, you know, whether you play off of Trent or I play off of both of you guys or whatever. Um, but uh, we've got compliments how well all three of us work together, you know, doing this podcast. Which, well, then again, I've been doing it with you for since I was born, basically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but uh, for, for us to bring in a, a newbie like Vanessa that, you know, now I just met Vanessa back in February, right? Yep. And True for, story. And uh, almost and a year, boys. That's cool. Yeah. You been know, close, it, yeah. Yeah, and, and really to build a relationship during COVID has been... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, I think COVID actually helped us grow a lot more than we did because oh. of... Because if we didn't have... Corona, we wouldn't be as big because of the haunting, the the dark zone. Yes, uh, good point. Uh, another that too, yeah. Another thing that helped our our podcast grow leaps and bounds. Yeah, is uh, during the conjuring event, uh, the dark zone did a, a live conjuring event, mm -hmm. and um, the we would do a daily recap of because they did, went seven days. Yeah, they yeah, went seven like days. Yeah. yeah, they went seven days, and each day we did a recap of what happened in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would lay it all in line. We would tell how it was, you know, what we, we believed in. Back. We didn't hold back. Right, yeah, it was just our opinions. And one of the weirdest things is because they were having 24-hour cameras, and you could listen in and stuff like that. Yeah. And one morning I was like, I was like listening while working. I'm like, like, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, what the fuck? I hear Vanessa's voice. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? And, you know, I, I thought I, maybe uh, the you podcast was playing in the, in the background yeah. or something uh, on my computer. Mm -hmm. So I look. I'm like, no. So I turn up the volume on the camera for Conjuring. I'm like, and then I heard myself. I'm like, motherfucker. He's listening to our podcast. <laughs> I'm like, they're fucking listening to the fucking podcast. Yeah. And so uh, it came out that they were big fans of the podcast that we were running. And uh, they That's loved awesome. the, the idea that we would tell it as it was. And we yeah. weren't sugarcoating stuff. Right. And, you know, they probably want to hear people's, you know, honest opinion as well. Because when you're doing something like that, you want to, you know, learn what yeah. people want and what you could do better. And, you know, yeah, that exactly. kind of thing. So, yeah. 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 Well, and uh, it was cool. really cool because the Heinz and family uh, and... Uh, Papa John, they're huge fans of us. Uh, love you, Papa John. Love the Papa John. Dude, uh, if Papa John wants a signed autograph t-shirt, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will, just for Papa John. Uh, but uh, they, they loved us so much, uh, they kept us you know, kept in contact with us during that whole week. Yep. Um, and then on the last day of the, the, the Conjuring House, uh, the Heinz and family wrote on this big billboard thing. And they walked around to each camera telling people to subscribe and listen to Ghost Freaking Talking. Yeah, that was really awesome. Yeah. And I mean, was, they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to do that at all. No. And uh, our numbers, because we hovered probably around like 100 subscribers, maybe. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we were a pretty small channel at the and, time. And, and within a week's time, we were over 500. Yeah, I remember yeah. when that uh, was growing, it was yeah. like It was crazy. Within a day, though. Right. Not even like within a couple. No, we gained like 400 subscribers less than 24 right. hours. So and, and and our podcast download numbers they would range between like 25, 50 a day maybe. Mm -hmm. We were having over a thousand downloads a day. That was sick. That I was, was awesome. so proud of us. Yeah, I was like, we're we hit big. We're going. It's crazy. We're number one. And, We're trending. And uh, <laughs> and since then, you know, yeah, the YouTube numbers have kind of slowed down a bit, mm -hmm. but our podcast numbers, whoever was listening to that podcast, is still listening to that podcast because I'll dro drop a new episode, and we get like close to a thousand downloads that that day or within that same day, you know, a couple days, mm -hmm. um, and so whatever we're doing here is awesome enough to keep the interest of other people some people yeah so that's sick oh well, yeah um so yeah we, awesome. we we love all of our listeners we love all our fans um i you know become good friends with uh you know the people from wolf hollow liz and randy because of the podcast mm -hmm. um they're they're listeners of it um, I just bought you this uh, new necklace from Wolf Hollow. You did, uh, yes. You know, doing a shameless plug here. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but you know, I took see, a picture. But yeah, you can check it out on Insta. I, I took a I took a picture of it, and and they go, oh, you got that for Vanessa, and and they're like, oh, but because there's a little slogan oh, on it. Yeah, there's a little charm on it that says, um, let's see, uh, soul of a mermaid, mouth of a sailor. And they're like, <laughs> and, and they're like, not Vanessa. She doesn't have a mouth of this, like a sailor. I'm like. And I hear I thought you listened to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would say. I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, huh. Come on. I thought you were listening to the podcast. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, it, and another thing, uh, you know, just bringing up this whole 50th podcast thing. If you go back and watch our very first episode, mm-hmm. um, it, it's really weird. We don't have the lights behind us. No. Uh, we just kind of have this like little... I don't know, you guys can see this like shimmery firelight. That's the only thing we had behind us. Okay. Um, and on the table, we had a little wax skull. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it was... Hey, upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I say we upgrade. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you go back and look, you know, the little wax skull on the table. And then uh, when I first started dating you, you're like, you're like, I know something that would look way better I got you. than that, that skull that you have on the table. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking right, about? I'm like, listening. What is she talking about? <laughs> like, yeah. you should have a cooler like skull from Halloween. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got, you got like a cool like you know ceramic skull right. or something <laughs> like that. And you're like, uh, no, I. What would you say if uh, I let you? Uh, I got a human one. Yeah, I got <laughs> an actual human skull. You're like, what? I'm What'd like, you do? <laughs> I'm like, I'm in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what did it, huh? Yep, yep. The human skull. Yeah, that's you, true yeah. love right there. Maybe, maybe you gave me the best head possible. <laughs> <laughs> Another news. Nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, uh, you you brought Martha out. Um, I did. And and you just she was just being held in captive in your closet yeah i didn't have her that long i got her from a girlfriend of mine and um yeah i didn't have a place to display her properly without you know i have a little a little boy and i'm not gonna like put her on my desk or something like that where she'll get knocked down or messed with so so yeah i just had her in my closet you know tucked away safe and sound and i was like you know she deserves better so i had a good idea very your cool. uh, show here. So yeah. yeah, there she and, is. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. And you got her a nice new little velvet uh, spot to yeah. lay her head uh, down on. <laughs> yeah, uh, was a high priest, uh, David Skywatcher. Yeah. He's, uh, he did a reading on her when we were at the live event uh, mm-hmm. a couple weekends ago. And he's like, uh, she's telling me that she wants something pretty to, to be adorned on. Mm-hmm. And um, so he's like, you should go get something kind of darkish. You know, velvety, uh, kind of like a, like a wine color. Yeah, like so, a burgundy color. Yeah. yeah, so um, I... You nailed it. I nailed it. <laughs> so I, I went out this past weekend. I'm like, I need to do this. I'm like, it's sweetest day. You know, I got you your necklace. Oh, I you got did my that? Mom. Yeah, you did do that yep. on sweetest day. I, Aww, I got my mom some flowers. even thought of Martha. And, uh, you know, I was thinking of Martha. So. Yeah. What? Where's my sweetest day gift? Brah, whatever. You were, <laughs> you were off, you know contacting covid at the pumpkin patch or something no that is <laughs> bull crap that pumpkin is bull patch. crap yeah they went to the pumpkin patch this weekend uh but yeah, it's I w- okay i i might have got you a sweetest day gift but no that's fine sure you didn't <laughs> yeah, yeah i did it. it's <laughs> fine yeah, well fuck you too dude <laughs> wow uh, but anyway you know so i was out shopping and i'm like fuck i really need to get that thing for martha yeah so i went to hobby lobby mm-hmm and it was the funniest fucking thing. I went and I'm like, oh, this fabric is just like what he exp- you know, explained to me. That fabric there? This fabric okay. here. So I bring the fabric up to the lady that because she cuts the fabric. <laughs> yeah. Plate. I'm like, can I get a half a yard of this fabric? And she's like, okay. And it must be like their thing to be like, oh, what are you, you going to make with this? <laughs> of course. You're yeah, like, the small talk while they're cutting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? I'm like, oh, well, um, I am actually making like a a a, a throne a throne basically <laughs> for for my human skull <laughs> she stops cutting she's like and, and she, sir she, i need you to leave she, she got she kind of got the oh 
Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. And she cuts and faster. she's cutting faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's all crooked. And <laughs> here, it's on me. <laughs> and I didn't go into, you know, that a, a, a witch actually told me, you know. That, <laughs> to get her a proper to throne. To get her a proper throne because, uh, you know, the witch talked to my human skull over the weekend and that I needed to get... <laughs> <laughs> that's how awesome. do you explain <laughs> what would go on in her mind you're like oh she's that's like, too funny uh, was yeah. it an old no, lady I was it like uh, if she actually believes you or if she's like this dude just fucking with me <laughs> i don't know you know what i mean like uh, but if you know the history of hobby lobby it's a christian run store oh, yeah that's true uh, i so forgot <laughs> about that <laughs> that's oh, funny my so uh, so she's frightened yeah, she's probably frightened to death that, you know, I am... Some I just mass have, murder. I, yeah, I just have like, human oh, this, skulls this, this, There's a satanic out. worshiper <laughs> in my store. She's Can like looking over her shoulder please? for you to like come attack her. <laughs> You're gonna, she's going to be your next victim. Uh, yeah, so uh, so uh, per orders of uh, Mr. Skywatcher, mm-hmm. uh, I do have her now on her velvety stuff. So, nice. you know... Where we've come, you know, we look really awesome now. We have this awesome setup. What do you mean? I look sexy. Um, uh, we we have uh, cool partners now, like uh, Mr. Hinkle Jaws. We do. Uh, the whole month of October now, we've been running uh, an ad for him for his Etsy page because he is putting out some awesome Halloween stickers. They are pretty sick stickers. Check go out. get some. Um, if you go to Etsy shop, Mr. Hinkle Jaws. Uh, he has some awesome stickers of Jason, Freddy, and uh, was it Billy from uh, Saw? He's got a whole set set of ten stickers. Mm-hmm. You can go out and get those. Go get all ten. Uh, so uh, I suggest that. Go to uh, Etsy shop, Mr. Hinkle Draws, uh, right after this commercial. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh huh. your limited edition Halloween sticker series at Etsy.com shop Mr. Hinkle Draws. Ten designs to choose from. From Jason, Freddy, Ghostface, Carrie, Thriller Michael Jackson, Frankenstein's Monster and the Bride of Frankenstein, Billy the Puppet, Pennywise the Clown, and Reagan from The Exorcist. All right, guys, so we are back, so make sure to go out and get your awesome stickers from Mr. Hinkle Draws, uh, Etsy shop Mr. Hinkle Draws. All right, guys, so 50th podcast episode. We want to thank everybody for listening and downloading um, all the all the episodes out there. Uh, but has there... What, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, what's your favorite episode? Ah, that, That's exactly what I was Damn it, dude. I was going to ask that. That was my question to close out the show. Um, what is your favorite episode? It's a toss-up. Um, the... That's at Disney World or Disney was one of my favorites because I am a big nerd at deaths at theme parks and everything like that because for some reason I'm just too good at it and I think it's I mean it's not cool but you know like <laughs> well, you're good at what deaths, deaths at theme at parks Dis- <laughs> no like I, I'm a- no he's a huge Disney dork okay yeah. gotcha that and um I would have to say. Just the newer podcasts that we've done so far for the 31 days have been the funniest podcasts I think we've <laughs> ever had in a while. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I do have to say that our 31 days have been hilarious. I, I, I did hear mm-hmm. from somebody that um, that they've all been good except for one. Which one is that? And, and she could tell that 
you both checked out during the episode. Oh, is the one where it was like freaking twelve and we we're just like dying inside. <laughs> it was the uh, the um, uh, what's her name? The, um, the yeah, what, oh the, the Winchester. Yeah, the Winchester. Yeah, because we're like okay, yeah, we're, we're we're tired. Let's go to bed. That's why was it? Totally, I mean, I was yeah. still present. I yeah. just didn't have a lot of information on her. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so it, she's like, oh yeah, I could definitely tell that you guys were were checked out, pushing yeah. it, yeah, because uh, that was like our. I think we recorded like four that day. <laughs> that was I'm not sure. It was the last one, yeah. but yeah, it was. Uh, so we were, we were pretty much checked out for that episode. But she said that you could definitely tell that we are at our peak right now with our yeah. with our podcast. It is, I think, because we all kind of just. Figured out how to do it with each other, you know, like Whoa. perfect. Not do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, watch what you say around him. You, you yeah. should know this, dude. Oh man, that was a softball. <laughs> 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 you no, know, you know what I mean. Come we on, we all know. know. Yeah, we all know. Yes. Yeah, we, we play off each other. Yeah, um, we we are definitely in a stride, and I don't know if it's more because we're doing it more. Uh, to where you know we're we, just consistent. We're consistent with it. I think with that's it. what it is. And whether you know we go back to our normal once a week schedule, you know after October, whether you know we'll still have that high, or is it we'll we'll, uh, we'll check back <laughs> at the end of November, see where we're at with you know going back to a weekly episode, then you know more of a daily thing, and see if we're still as high as we are now. <laughs> um, but uh, Nessie, your favorite episode? Um. Oh no! I guess the first one, just because you know, obviously, yeah, first episode yeah, that, that remember, I did. You always yeah, remember always, your first time, yeah, unless you're trying to forget it. <laughs> um. But yeah, you know, like Trent said, I like the newer ones. You know, like the Halloween costumes. That was really funny. Yeah. Um, I've actually listened to um listened to it more than once on my commute. So very cool. Yeah. Uh, so do you find it better to listen to the short? 20 30 minute shows than it is the the hour hour and a half shows you know how you said about the whole star wars thing where you rather watch the mandalorian because it's a shorter clips no smaller snippets yeah i think this is better than our long one hour episodes no. but i do like the cuz you know cuz we kind of push it i think we tried to cram too much into it uh for for that that weekly show yeah yeah, where we try to take a couple of new stories and uh, try to yeah. shoehorn in stories. That's just my opinion. Like that. Yeah, I get it. Um, so yeah, so you, you you're saying yeah, you like, like the smaller one. Yeah, I would probably say that. You prefer the smaller ones. Uh, that's what she <laughs> said to you. Right? Oh, Definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> that is bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> that's bullcrap. <laughs> so, what's your favorite episode? Um, my favorite episode. I, I would have to say, uh, just seeing your face when we were talking about the the masturbating ape. <laughs> oh my god, that was the best episode. One of the best episodes. I, Top that, five. At I least. think that was like one of our very first episodes. I think. I and think it was like, because weren't we talking about masturbating apes and we talked about a video clip. Yeah. That was on Facebook and then Area Fifty One. Yeah, uh, during that time, that was a big push for the the raid on Area Fifty One. Gotcha, so yeah. we played on that for a few weeks. Yeah, but we threw in this this weird story that there's a ghost of a masturbating ape, and it's it the ghost of a masturbating. Ape. Yes, it's okay. not like we were just talking about masturbating apes. <laughs> But it's, the ghost of It's a one. ghost of a masturbation. Wow. It's a wrong bay. <laughs> That's like deep. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> if you guys want to go back and listen to that episode, it's really cool. And people actually go to this house because it's like a mansion. And quick quick synopsis of it, um, this lady committed suicide. She had a pet ape. And, mm -hmm. you know, he had a habit of masturbating. And when she committed suicide, she locked her door. Mm -hmm. And so the ape couldn't get out. Okay. So the ape died in the room with her. And people see this ghost of this ape in this house. Hmm. And jerking off, huh? Jerking off. And people actually booked their weddings <laughs> at this house so they could try to get wedding photos 
of this masturbating ape in their wedding photos. So you know when they say people like walk through ghosts and they get like ectoplasm on them? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, right? No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's that's lots of ectoplasm. <laughs> he slimed me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, if my wedding isn't there, I wouldn't say I. Yeah. Then is it a real wedding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you even getting married if you're not right. getting married with the masturbating game? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but yeah, so that was m- probably one of my favorite, you know, or these, these live episodes. I really love interacting with people, mm-hmm. um, getting people's stories, you know, especially the ones that don't want to talk. Right, but then start talking a little bit. Yeah, and then, and, yeah. And then you kind of make them feel. You know, safe about it, comfortable yeah. about it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I've always loved interacting with people. That's why I love going mm-hmm. to these uh, conventions and stuff. Uh, that's why I would really love for, like, horror conventions to try to pick us up. You know, I would love to do a horror convention. Not a horror. A horror convention? Not a horror convention. I see your I man. Mean, I can days. do both. Yeah, your man. I've seen, I seen, uh, seen you over there. You had the glint in your eye. You're like, ooh, you know. we're going to talk about you're whores like, now. You're like... I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey-o>. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would love to go to these horror conventions and uh, set up interviews with these awesome actors from these old horror movies and stuff like that, or uh, these people that run these extravagant haunted houses and shit like that. Yeah, um, I would love to do those kind of kind of shows. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, hopefully, so uh, twenty twenty one. Hopefully, it will be the year of horror conventions. Horror conventions. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, if, I mean, it would make my year if we can get an interview with Papa John. Just saying. Hey, you know, I want an interview with Papa John. Uh, if if John John Huntington, if you are listening, my man, uh, if you're still listening to this podcast, hit us up because uh, we're friends on Facebook. Oh, nice. Um, so uh, he just posted a picture yesterday. He, I guess, they have. You know those fake skeletons like Mr. Bones oh, at, nice. at the Conjuring House, mm-hmm. and he had one that was sitting on his fence post, and the other one looked like it was sucking the dude's dick. Oh! <laughs> and, and he posted it on his Facebook page, nice. and, and I go, I go, um, it, it's no longer the Conjuring House; it's the um, um, con- conjugal house. <laughs> I mean, I, I go, I go, it's the conjugal house now, not the Conjuring House. <laughs> get it? Nice. Conjugal. I conjugal get visit. it. Yeah, yeah. Man, fuck. All right, that joke didn't go over well. It went over well with him. He liked that. So, uh, so Papa John, if you want to do an interview, we would love to do an interview, especially since they're, he's going to be part of that live um, show for Halloween. Uh, we need Papa John, oh, bro. Oh, that's right, yeah. So if we could set that up before that, that would be kind of cool. And you know how to contact us at ghostft at yahoo.com. Maybe I'll shoot him a, a DM. I'll slide into his DMs. Slide well, into I his DMs. Well, I was trying to... Plug nice our plug. ghost oh, FT. Oh, oh, oh wait. If you have an awesome, scary story, where can you reach us? Uh, hey, ghost F- FT at yahoo.com. <laughs> it, it's kind it's, 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 uh, it's, Okay. Uh, it, the it's moment over. was there. You, you ruined it. Well, guys, uh, I want to thank you here on the panel for thank awesome, you. Yeah. Uh, awesome show. 50 here. more, boys. 50 more. Uh, maybe at 100, we will probably be you know <gasps> famous by then. And I don't know. Hopefully. just saying, I think it would be super cool because we're at like almost 560 something, right? We're almost at 600 subscribers, right? Mm-hmm. I say if we reach a thousand subscribers, we should release merch with the, like the ghost freaking talking, but instead of white, it's gold. I think oh, that would look so yeah. slick right. on the black. Yeah. So yeah. Let's, let's reach for a thousand. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we'll hit that thousand mark and we will release gold plated dude that would be so <laughs> sick uh ghost freaking talking gear uh, i could definitely talk to uh to tyler and get him to revamp the logo a little bit so i could get that gold tone on it yeah so, it'd be great. so sick just saying very cool so now we have goals yeah we have goals goals, goals. <laughs> uh reach a thousand subscribers on youtube and uh hopefully uh we keep this train rolling uh for for the podcast yeah. so guys keep uh keep you know downloading those podcasts and uh let us know how we're doing and uh give us all the love back because mm-hmm. uh we love everyone so make sure to uh subscribe here on youtube click that notification bell so you can know if i push out a new video also make sure to check out our facebook and 
Instas. Don't forget TikTok. Oh, yeah. Can't forget that TikTok. <laughs> we can't forget we can't, that TikTok. I, I'm really surprised on the amount of love we're getting on TikTok. It's it's crazy the amount of views and shit yeah, we're getting. Right? It's pretty sick. Not gonna lie, I do go back and watch the the cool transition video because it's just so yeah. mesmerizing. <laughs> uh, so we need to come up with some more ideas of like cool transition shit like that. You know, kind of doing fun videos like that to throw on TikTok. Mm, TikTokers. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys want to want to know what's coming in the mail tomorrow, but. Oh no! Is it your speedo? No, no, it's not a speedo. Oh, dang. Uh, yeah, I got a ring light coming. Oh, it's your thong. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, it's not my thong. Uh, nice, so I can take cool selfies and yeah. the ring light. Yeah, you got the ring light coming. <laughs> it's got the cool stand for your for your phone. To we stand have on. lost you. We have lost so you. I repeat. So is that totally for TikToking? Uh, no, it's not for t- totally for TikToking. It could be used as for for YouTube. It did could you, be. But did you, you buy it so What did you buy it for? Dad, what did you buy it for? For merch shoots and stuff like that. Dad, be honest the with photo your, shoots will do. Be yeah. honest with yourself here. Well, you know, I had trouble trying to stand my phone up the other day. Mm-hmm. You while, used while the TikTok, right? Well, well, well t- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was used for TikTok. You lied to us. Like I said, I will so repeat funny it. To see we have lost Dad to TikTok. <laughs> the progression of him, like. TikTok, what? Uh, and then TikTok. now he's like, Dad's gonna do the renegade sooner or later. <laughs> he's gonna do. The, I don't even know what that is. Or, whop or whatever it's called. Oh, you want me to do the wop? I no, I don't do the wop dance. I don't want you to do it. <laughs> but it's probably in one of your like. Um, it's in my notebook of things to do. Yeah. <laughs> things to embarrass my son by. Yes. It's in your draft. Yeah, exactly. Yes, they're in my drafts right now. Uh, but yeah, so check <laughs> us out on TikTok as well. Uh, if, once again, if you guys have a scary story, write to ghostft at yahoo.com. Where's that? Ghostft at yahoo.com. That's where you can get it. Ghostft at yahoo.com. Write us an awesome scary story and we will read them right here on the podcast. All right, guys. Well, I'm your host. My name is Nick. I'm Trenton. I'm Newsroom Nessie. And as always, everyone has a story to tell. And stay spooky. Stay spooky, ladies and gentlemen. And stay spooky.